So I'll use this page to kind of summarize. So nihilism means hopelessness and disorientation. When we are disoriented, we typically don't take action on things that have meaning and that reinforces the hopelessness. So very importantly, I think we have to see nihilism as a self-perpetuating cycle. All self-perpetuating cycles have to have at least two components. And these are the two basic components of nihilism, hopelessness, nothing matters, and disorientation. So the solution, which would be what in Nietzschean terms, uh, I think the clearest one, I don't want to overuse this, but I think, well, it's actually the name of the book. Um, it's the affirmation of life. I mean, that is Nietzsche's, that's Nietzsche in a nutshell. If you have to describe Nietzsche in three words, those would be the words. Affirmation of life. Let's just do the whole thing. That's very Nietzschean. So what are the two components of the affirm? Well, it actually has three components. Uh, from a Nietzschean perspective, the first one would be acceptance. Which, interestingly enough, see if my computer is still awake. Yeah. Uh, interestingly enough, that was the first thing I wrote in my blog on nihilism. First thing is to recognize it and accept it. So, acceptance, let's just say, of, of the situation, of reality. I'll just put situation. It's a little smaller. And then we have to give value to life. So uh, Nietzsche would say either affirmation again, or he would say valuation. And then three would be uh, some type of uh, focused action. Focus implies action because to see th to see something and value it, uh, one would have to manifest that uh, physically and in the real world, so that would be action. And then by taking action, that would provide a reinforcement of the sense of value of the concept or the act or the goal, and that would help us focus on it. So again, this also becomes a self-perpetuating cycle. Valuation, focus, and action, just like here, hopelessness, disorientation, and inaction. And it doesn't have to be complete inaction. It could be a distractive action. A distractive action reinforces hopelessness just like inaction does. So a distractive action would be, you know, alcohol, going to a lot of parties just to distract oneself, um, you know, uh, predatory businesses, predatory, you know, sexual uh, pursuits, whatever, anything to just kind of enjoy the moment, live for the moment and distract oneself from um, these uh, feelings that one can't otherwise deal with, you know. So again, inaction or distractive action still reinforces helplessness. To affirm life, we have to accept it for what it is. So that's the Dionysian component. Uh, but the practical components are finding something that has value, even if it's small, it's a starting place, and then focusing on that and giving it some time, attention, and energy, and money, and action. So this is where we want to be uh, in order to help us avoid this, these problems.